Everyone, want to sneak with us versus herd if it's your first time here you like the content hit subscribe if you want to get notifications for when we post videos tap the bell and if you want to join the uvh fam links are below to our discord free options trading group on facebook along with our patreon it's been a long time since i actually done beginner videos brokerage reviews that kind of thing and that's where i've pretty much started this channel and i've gotten some feedback over the last like couple months that hey maybe you sh should kind of get back to your roots go back there so that's what I'm doing I'm going back to my roots giving you guys some more beginner videos because I know that that's where you guys need a lot of help um, I'm going to be looking at Webull I'll, I'll start posting more videos about Webull mainly because they have options trading coming out in November and as you know at us versus herd we primarily do options trading right now i'm just going to be showing you the stocks but this i'm going to give you a good preview of what this this desktop platform is um, it's the same as the web platform so i'm just going to be using desktop but they also have a web platform they have it for mac they also have it for ios and android which is they're all they're all fairly similar and i've in my last week video that i did like a year ago i said this is what robin hood should have been like i said been saying for a while robin hood has stopped innovating robin hood just gives people millennials or people the product but they don't actually develop the instruments they just want to make it easy for people to buy and sell especially like options but i in my opinion i feel like they made it too simple so here we are on webull and i'm actually going to buy and sell some stocks so you can kind of see that as well as you can see here quotes are loading pretty fast in here this is the watch list this is like your default home page screen um you know right here is just the watch list that you have you can easily add more things to the watch list let's say i want to add in nvidia you can search here and just hit the little little star and then go to watch list and then as you can see here it adds, added nvidia to my watch list now already you can see that it gives you a lot of information about this about the stock just right from first glance it gives you the volume on the day the average volume over the last three months you know 52 week high 52 week low what the market cap is um you know which is all good stuff this it, it keeps going as well if you're if you're if you're interested i'm not going to cover all this stuff you guys can download it as well if you guys are also interested in webull you guys like what you see here use my referral code below you you get free stocks i get free stocks we all get free stocks so it's in your best interest and my best interest if you guys use the referral code because we, we get we get free stuff through webull so i would definitely appreciate you guys um on this tab over here um now i want to say you can go you can go pretty far down the rabbit hole here with webull they have a lot of different views and i also like the flexibility of it um kind of going through this and um the simulated holdings like paper trading and stuff like that which we'll get to um but i do like this on the right hand side they have these these tabs here of all the different things that they provide information on so we'll just cover We'll just cover Apple today. How about that? You can get if you click on the quote, you get a little quick chart here. You can actually you can actually just place an order right here if you want to. If you wanted to buy one, 10, 50, 100, you could put it in there. They have these that you can kind of pre-fill it out. The other thing that I like is you can set a stop loss or you can have a take profit order. So if, if you're let's say you're working a lot, you can't necessarily watch a stock. I think this is gonna be interesting if they implement this for options trading. There's gonna be a take profit. There's going to be a take profit button hopefully on options trading i'm not sure yet haven't haven't tried it out yet but we'll see how it goes here but as you can see here gives a light nice overview of the stock of what's going on here capital overflow inflow outflow of money you know and it allows you the one thing that i like about webull it gives you the instruments to dive deep into the stock or as little as you want so you can just buy and sell stock or you can actually go pretty deep down the rabbit hole here as you can see not to not for it to be cumbersome or get confused but they give you the data if you wanted to get the data and as you know as being an informed trader is pretty important um, the news tab all the news regarding this stock financials financials is interesting because it shows you if they if over the last few quarters did they did they did they beat earnings did they miss earnings nice little graph here you can always change it to annual income balance cash flow so i'm not going to go through every single thing here but i'm just going to give you trying to give you a good feel of what webull is and, and how to use it um but yeah you can you can you can dive deep and you can kind of what i like about the financial statements and the graphs and stuff it makes it other platforms have this but in terms of a free trading platform they charge zero commissions you know it this is this is this is 
pretty great. This is, like I said, this is what Robinhood should be. Um, they give you dividend information, press releases from Apple, and then there's analysts information how many people how many say it's a buy how many say it's a hold how many people say it's a sell zero percent sell on apple <laughs> um but you know not that you should take analyst recommendation but it's always good to see upgrades downgrades and seeing where 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 kind of things are coming in on that going into the next tab we're going to go to the stocks this is the um this is the chart we can close this up so we can get a better view one thing again what i like about the chart here it's very customizable Unlike Robinhood, that's not very customizable. You can you can change it. I like to trade in 15 minute increments. You can you can do one minute, five minute, 30 minutes. I know that Robinhood did introduce bar charts, but it's only in 10 minute increments, so it's not very helpful for for most traders. Um, these uh, these charts also you have you have the ability to use indicators. Um, they have a bunch of indicators here: MA, moving average, estimated moving average, bowling um, VWAP, volume. They have RSI, you know. So depending on what depending on what type of trader you are, they give you the tools and instruments if you if you choose to, to use them. Other thing that I like is you can actually detach many windows here, and you can keep actually opening them, and you can have multiple multiple windows, as you can see here of of different different stock charts. So that's another thing, multi window. That's a big thing that I use in Thinkorswim, and I think that is a nice value add here to the platform. You know, and then you can zoom in. I do. I don't really like that the way this zooms in. I do like on Thinkorswim. You can like if you go to th well, let me just show you Thinkorswim here. So on Thinkorswim, if I wanna if I wanna highlight like this day, I can just click and and go into that. On Weeble, you can't really do that, but that's a minor concern. You have to kind of click this plus or minus and go in and review it but that's a that's a that's a small thing in terms of in terms of what i'm looking for um markets this is another interesting tab they do have the united states hong kong global and just so you're aware you know just so you're aware i wanted to point this out um where is it okay Webull is a brokerage based out of New York City and regulated by FINRA. This means your funds are protected by the SIPC insurance, so it's all it's all America based. However, Webull is the broker dealer arm of a Chinese company called Hunan Fumi Information Technology, which itself was founded in early 2016. So, just to let you know, its founding company is based in China. So, I want to be very clear on that that the it is regulated by finra and and based out of new york however their parent company is actually a chinese company so just want to i just want to point that out there it's not all us based okay just want to put that i just want to put that out there but what i like about what i like about the markets tab is it shows you a lot of information here in terms of the stock market as, as a whole. You can you can get a view of the Dow, S and P, Nasdaq. Also, most active, top gainers, top losers for the day. You know, sometimes sometimes this is helpful just to um, you know bounce some ideas. Not that you're necessarily going to make a trade off of it, but it's good. You know, in the market, it's not always good to be a follower, but it's nice to bounce some ideas. Maybe look around the market, poke around. And this kind of gives you that information to do so. And they have different areas here in terms of um, hot industries, some stocks trading in those industries. And I, th the one thing that I like about it is I think that they give you a lot of tools to find the stocks that give you the ideas of, of maybe investing in, or just kind of giving, you know, getting an overall feel for how the market is right now. What, what, what sectors are hot, which, which ones are selling off, which ones are, which ones are being bought up. You know, it's a it's a good it's a good thing to be. So they also have the IPOs upcoming. They also have our earnings for today, and then stocks declaring dividends as well. So, you know, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff here. Um, then they have the screener, which is which is incredible too. So you can actually build your own screener. These will actually screen stocks for for these are just default, but you can actually build your own screener based on what you want and actually save these. So if you're only looking at you know small cap stocks, you're looking at large cap stocks or mid cap, you can you can kind of. I'm not going to go too much into detail of this. I'll probably make some more videos regarding this, but you can actually scan for, hey, what what 
stocks are gapping up. What are the 10%? Which ones are above 10% right now? These stocks are all trading above 10% today. You know how quick that is. These are all trading below 10%. Here's some losers today. So, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty quick. I would say the overall platform, the overall feel, and the tools themselves are actually, you know, I would say pretty nice. Um, the trading tab, <clears throat> now, I guess this is what, what my one complaint. I don't really like it that much. It is customizable. You can create a new board. You can save a board. Um, I won't get too much into that right now because I'm just going over the basics. Um, but, you know, they give you account detail, your P&L. I don't really have any holdings on here. Reason why my PL is so bad is because of NIO. I bought some NIO stock just through through here just to test it out with, and that that stock is is down quite a bit. I mean, but I do like how they have this over here where you can scroll over and whoa, whoa. Come on. So it's not all fitting on the I have a pretty wide screen, so I, hopefully I fixed that. Maybe I can rearrange this stuff. Let me see if I can. So I can rearrange. So we'll, let's see. So yeah, you can rearrange. Maybe put that at the top or whatever you want to do. But um, okay. So maybe maybe we'll do something like that. Not that nice. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll put it back for right now. So basically, it's customizable. So just be aware. Um, Now, they are showing what your unrealized in p and on here. So actually, NIO stock, since I bought it on here, which was a while ago, is down 72%. But it shows you that you know Zing is up 20%, Snap's up 23%. These are down. So this is this is nice. I'm actually going to go through a closing order. Which stock do I want to sell here? I think I could care less about, let's say, Ericsson. Make some money. We'll make, we'll make 57 cents on this. You can actually just right-click on your holding and hit Close Order. And then this screen comes up, or, or you can like click, like if you click here, it'll change this over here, which will change this subset. And if you have these numbers here, you can you can group these in a certain manner. These are all grouped off of one, group two, group three. But you can, if you click here, you can see how that that changes in this column. But <clears throat> but let's say I want to sell. I have I currently have one share, so I just have one. We're going to hit sell, and then we can just sell it at 921, which is which is the price right now. I don't know my trading verification <laughs> code. Um, we'll have to reset that later, but. You get the idea. I do like I do like that you can set an order to take profit. So I guess we're not going to be selling any stock, but it's 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 pretty it's pretty easy as you can see here. You can just hit sell, or you can just go here, close order, and the screen comes up. You can sell one of them at whatever limit price. They also have market stop orders, but I do like I do like you can put a take profit order. So you can say, hey, I don't really want to stock the watch the stock that much, but if it goes up to like you know nine ninety five you can you can actually lock in you can actually lock in those profits for you automatically versus you having to monitor it so i think this is a very nice feature um you know especially as the brokerage wars heat up and people are not charging for stocks or for buying selling stocks anymore like the big brokers i think this is a, a huge a huge huge thing this is i mean this is huge the take profit order if they do this for options i mean it's going to be incredible i'm not trying to gas them up but i i haven't you know it's crazy. Um, the account tab shows you your account information, history, what your PL is currently for this week. So this week, this account's actually down two dollars. When the last month is actually down eighty dollars, only mostly due to I think due to let's look at NIO. Yeah, I mean NIO NIO in the last month has dropped from from man, that's that's crazy. Your date, you can see how well you're doing. Um, like I said, I haven't really, I haven't really had this account for that long. I've had these stocks in there, but I haven't really been selling anything. The only thing I bought was like NIO, 
haven't really been taking it seriously. But if they once once they bring over options, I think this is gonna be this is gonna be a game changer. This is gonna be it's gonna be intense. Um, the other thing is I like that they have the paper account. They give you a million dollars to test things out. And as you guys know, Thinkorswim has a paper account, but it lags. It's not real time. It, the quotes lag 15 minutes behind. This is actually real time. This is actually real time quotes, so you can actually execute orders right in here. So if I want to execute, let me make myself a little bit smaller so you guys can see. So if I want to execute an order of Apple right here, I can say I want to buy, I just want to buy one at 236. It's not trading at 236. We'll go a little bit above so we get filled. There we go. I'm in. I went a little bit above above market price there, but I wanted to get filled for this video. And if you want to sell it, oh, that's actually working. It actually, didn't get filled. It actually, got filled right now. So let's see what what did we get filled for. So that was on our working tab. Getting it got filled for. So I put the price in for two thirty six thirty five. I got I got it filled for two thirty six twenty nine. So. And then as you can see here, so this is, I think this is going to be very nice. If they, if they have this for options and they allow you to tr trade different, different strategies in real time, I mean, I think it's going to be amazing. Um, to close the order, you just go down here to close and we can just hit uh, sell. Let's see if we get. So it's still working. My prices are below. But you can just modify. Unlike Robinhood, where you have to like cancel the order and replace the order, this will actually you can actually just hit modify. See how we get filled here. Come on below. I'm below market. Fill me. Okay. So I don't know how fast I I had to test how fast it is compared to the the act paper money versus your actual account. So you know you can kind of see what you did here. Lost, lost. Uh, we lost six cents on that. Actually, we went broke, break even. So, wow. So I bought it for two thirty, two thirty six twenty nine. I sold it for two thirty six twenty nine. So I'm, 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 I'm break even. Interesting. Okay. So we'll play around with that. I'll be doing some more videos on the paper trading and the strategies that you can use here. But, you know, I just wanted to go through this real quick, give you a brief overview. Again, if you guys want to sign up for Webull, links are below in the description. Let me know your thoughts on Webull in general. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like. Definitely appreciate it. As always, stay safe, stay green. It's us versus herd.